time here a little early. Hopefully you're okay with that. <laughs> Today's question is about um, tax deductions and um, what happens with my principal residence. So you work really hard, you save a down payment, you find your house and then you buy your house and then what? Um, a lot of people don't realize that there are actually significant tax benefits for owning your own house. Um, obviously you need to talk to a CPA because in every instance it's special depending on what your situation is. So I'm just going to give you the general idea of how things work and then um, you should talk to a CPA or call me and I'm happy to get you a CPA's contact info so that you can um, find out what's best for you. But there are a number of things that you should be able to write off your on your taxes depending on where you're at in your life and your income and all of that fun stuff. So um, number one, interest on the loan, tax deductible. Everybody's talking about how that's taken away. It was not taken away, it was capped. So if your loan is more than $750,000, you can't write off any interest above that. That's a lot of money. So most of us, our loans are below $750,000 and you can write off that interest in theory. Two, your property taxes. So whatever property taxes are associated with your principal residence are tax deductible um, and they did cap that up to $10,000. Um, but obviously, again, most of our um, property taxes aren't going to be quite $10,000. Um, home equity lines of credit. So that's a tricky one and I'm not going to go too far into that, but you can write that off in some instances if you've used it to improve your property. You can't use it if you pulled it out and went up to Mexico on vacation. That is not going to apply, <laughs> but you're going to want to talk to your CPA about that. Um, things get even more complicated if you have like a business office in your house. Um, that's going to change things for your principal residence, so you should be aware of that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for our list, but it can be a significant amount of money. Um, and there are ways to use that if you are going to qualify for that to help you qualify for your next purchase. So at the end of the day, what you need to do is call me and I can help. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a great link, uh, a great week. Um, go check out our link um, on our website, and um, we'll talk soon. Take care.